here is how to order a memory page in less than five minutes on our new ordering site. So I'm going to start up here at the top bar under photo prints. I'm going to go down to memory pages. Once I have that selected, there are three options for memory pages. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select a 12 by 12. Once we're in here, you can see that there are so many great templates that you can work off of, or you can just uh, do a completely create your own blank template. If you go to the left and click all styles, you'll be able to see them all at the same time, and you'll see that heart collage is right there. And you'll select the one you want and hit that next button. And then when we come in here, you'll see on the left hand side, I see all my collections. I'm just going to go through and find the one that I want. And that'll pull up my images. And once I have my images, I'm just going to drag and drop them into those gray boxes. I like to drag and drop into the boxes because that means I know exactly where they're going. Because if you'll notice right here, I have this box selected. And then I'm going to go over back to the left and select a different photo, and it does swap it out. So just be super careful when you're placing those photos that you're not accidentally swapping out images that you don't want. And once they're in those boxes, you can drag them so that they are in the exact spot that you want them, so you're seeing exactly what you want to see. So you'll see here, I drag that up, and now you can see both of their faces. You can also remove these photo boxes if you don't want them. They will just be white if you remove them. And you can add text down here on the bottom in the right. You can see there is an add text button. So if you wanted to add text to this, you absolutely can. You'll just hit that button and it'll bring up a text box. You just add what you want to say. Once you have this the way that you want it, Go ahead and make sure that you hit that red save button in the top right corner. This makes sure that if you ever want to print it again, it'll be in your projects. So make sure that's saved. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add that to cart. And once that is in my cart, I can see there it is in my cart, ready to go. I can either continue shopping or I can check out. And that's it. That's how you make a memory page.